Whether it's country pottery near Penrith, still uses time-honoured methods and techniques to produce a wide variety of handmade pottery. It also has its own industrial heritage museum and in September 1995 steeplejack and steam engineer Fred Dibner having restored the old steam machinery to full working order performed the grand steam opening. On behalf of Weatherix Pottery, I'd like to thank you all for being here today and for joining in the celebration of the restoration of the steam to the engine and to the blunger. We've got Fred here who's been working since March on the project and I'd like to just hand over to Fred who'd like to say a few words now. <laughs> Won't be many words, I can tell you. you know, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm unbelievably nervous. Yeah. What's up? Eh? Oh, <laughs> this is Roger. Um, all as I can say really is I've, I've really, really enjoyed restoring this piece of tattle. You know, it's one of the best jobs, in my opinion, I've ever done in all my career as being self-employed, you know. And um, it does run, I can assure you that. It'll never fly, but it runs. And the thing is, uh, I'd also like to wish Mr. Dodds every success in his projects here, you know, and I think it will be a success ultimately and eventually. Because uh, things like this go by people telling other people how nice it is, you see. Uh, and I don't think I'll mind the earth anymore. I think <laughs> I shall pull the string and hopefully the curtain will fall down. <laughs> hopefully. So here we go. All right. Well then, Roger. But, um, <laughs> Oh. We've got a little thank you oh. for you. Oh. Well, it's still here. Yeah. Where's yeah. the... Oh, where's she going? <laughs> 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 well, that's yeah. <laughs> This is the blunger, a device into which weathered clay and water are mixed to produce a smooth slurry from which ultimately a suitably manageable clay is formed to make the pots. The beam of the blunger is turned by a crown wheel and pinion driven by shafting and a bell from the steam engine in the adjacent steam house. The single cylinder horizontal engine, made at the turn of the century by W.C. Holmes of Huddersfield, was installed about 1970 and replaced an earlier, larger engine. Until the recent renovation by Fred Dibner, the engine had been out of use for quite a number of years. <laughs> the 
The steam to drive the engine is produced by this vertical boiler. The fuel now being burned is wood, but originally coal was used, which was also the fuel for the pottery's beehive kiln. But the coal delivery ceased when the local railway line closed in the 1960s, and the kiln could no longer be used. Meantime, Fred takes time to sign a few autographs, a result of his celebrity status following his popular series of programmes on television. Fred's wife Sue is kept busy with visitors purchasing mementos of the day. A pint of local ale is very welcome. It's thirsty work signing autographs. Fred's son Jack helps to keep the boiler fed. and youngest son Roger assists the driver of the miniature railway to top up the loco's water tank. One day, I suspect Roger will be a steam engine driver too. <laughs> Weatheriggs is a working pottery, and visitors can view the craftsmen at their work. As well as the steam plant, the Heritage Museum includes the old beehive kiln. Visitors can examine the interior of the structure to see how the pots were stacked, ready for firing at a temperature of a thousand degrees centigrade. So now with steam, and thanks to Fred Dibner, we can enjoy the sight and sound of a working blunger at Weatherig's Country Pottery. <laughs>